Assalamu alaikum and thank you for downloading the uh, Quran Study app. This is just a quick tutorial as far as how to use the app. So when you first download the app, um, if you want to go from verse to verse or word to word, you simply just swipe uh, to the left or to the right and it'll go to the uh, uh, next uh, verse. If you want to change uh, surahs, you click the top title uh, where it says the Ki al fatiha and uh, there you can uh, select a surah or you can jump to a specific uh, uh, verse within a surah. So let's say if I wanted to go to surah 10, verse 57, I could do that and then be able to jump directly to that uh, surah. This check mark uh, that you'll see in each of the tabs is just to let you know that you've completed this surah. So if you finish reading the surah, you can simply connect, uh, check it and you'll see the progress bar uh, go. If you click any of the words in Arabic, uh, it'll give you the, the, the pronunciation, the root, and then the audio of that word. So if you click the uh, uh, audio uh, in the blue box, it'll show you how to recite that specific word. If you want to hear the full verse recitation, uh, you'll click the uh, play button on the bottom right of the uh, screen, and then that'll play the audio for the entire verse. If we go back to the uh, selection menu, there's another option. So right now we're in the complete surah view. So we can go from surah 10 verse zero from Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim all the way to the last verse. If on the other hand, you wanted to just pick a range of, uh, of verses, what you could do is say, for instance, surah 10, I wanna start from 57 and end at 67. Oops. What this is gonna do is basically only show you those uh, uh, verses. So for instance, uh, once you get to 67, it's gonna jump back to 57. So it's only that range. So if you wanted to uh, familiarize yourself with only a range of surahs, you can do it that way. So let's go back to the full one. So let's look at some of the other uh, tabs. Uh, the leftmost tab is the grid tab. This is a word for word uh, translation uh, of the, uh, the, the, the Quran. Uh, again, once you're done with the verse, you can click the uh, blue check mark, uh, the, the check mark, and you'll see the blue progress bar go up. If you click the Arabic uh, there, you can, for any word, it'll give you the root and the corresponding audio. Uh, if you click the three, uh, the triliteral root, it'll tell, it'll take you to a concordance of all the roots of that word throughout the entire Quran in chronological order. If you want to sort it. Uh, alphabetically, you just hit the uh, arrow and it'll sort it alphabetically. If you want to see the derivative meanings of this root, you click the uh, root icon and it'll show you the derivative meanings. And you could do this anywhere in the Quran uh, study app that you see a root, you can click the root and it'll take you to that screen. So let's look at the flashcard. Flashcard has a X if you don't know what the word means and a check mark if you know what the word means. Uh, if you're not sure, you can simply tap the uh, card, it'll flip and then show you uh, what the translation is. Uh, if you say you know the word, you'll hit the uh, check mark and you'll see again the progress bar goes up and it'll show that you know one of the words in uh, Surah 1. And then I'll show you the next one. So uh, if you say uh, Allah, so we know that one, and let's say we get to this one, Al-Rahman, and we don't know it. So what you'll see is that you're, you'll have one word that's X uh, score, uh, showing that you don't know that word, and then two that you do know. So you can keep going. So let's say we just quickly go through, and we say we know this. Now let's say I want to re review that one word I missed. If I click this score right below the uh, uh, blue icon, what I can do is review missed words, yes, and it'll take me back to that word. And then this time I know it, so now my uh, points increase from there. Uh, if you want to shuffle the order of the words, you simply hit the uh, shuffle icon uh, on the bottom next to the uh, play in the star. If you want to save the word for future use, you could click the star. And um, let's go now to reader. We've seen multiple choice, similar uh, methodology that let's say I know the word, so I'm going to click it, go to the next one, go to the next one. Let's say I don't know this one. Ah, oh, I got it wrong. And let's say later on, I want to uh, go and review that one word I missed. I simply hit, again, the uh, score, and it'll say review missed words. I say yes, and it'll take me back to the word that I missed, uh, mustaqim. And I'll say, okay, I know it this time. And I can go through it this way. And if I miss a word, it'll basically go red and show me the right word and go through it that way. Um, this 
uh, icon here that's above the, uh, the, the four uh, multiple choice options with the uh, little graph and the uh, gray bar underneath. If you click it, it's gonna show you your progress. This, in each tab, it's gonna give you basically in the grid how many verses you completed, in reader how many verses you completed, and then in color, which we'll look at how many verses you completed. And then same thing with how many words you've learned in flashcard and multiple choice for the entire Quran. Uh, you can click between the uh, number icon to show you just the uh, aggregate number of words, uh, verses, and roots you know, or uh, percentage-wise. So let's go back. Okay, uh, the last uh, tab is the uh, color tab. The color tab helps with the translation. So by matching the colors on the Arabic and the English, you can get a sense of how this translation comes to be. So for instance, bism, the, uh, the b is in reference to the in, and ism is in reference to the name uh, and such and such. So you can go through each of the, uh, the uh, translation word by word and be able to see, okay, how do these uh, correspond to better understand the, uh, the, the Arabic. One other thing that just worth mentioning is if you go uh, to the uh, uh, flashcard or multiple choice, you'll notice on the top above the uh, progress bar, you have the root. And again, if you click the root, it'll take you to the concordance where you'll see every single occurrence of that root throughout the entire Quran. If, for instance, you want to know, okay, in Surah 7, verse 206, let's, you can click the verse, and it'll give you a preview of that uh, verse to see how the word is used in context. And you can see it again in a grid view, or in a full verse view. So go back. Uh, one other thing is if you click the menu icon here, uh, you'll be able to see all your history of all the verses that you've uh, searched for, and then also all the bookmarks that you've made for any corresponding verses. Uh, if you guys have any questions, you can always contact us. Uh, and also we offer a summary that's in the Get Started tab. Uh, God willing, you enjoy the app, and if you guys got questions, just reach out. God bless.